Hi, I'm Leslie Logan. Welcome to my Pilates studio here in Los Angeles. And today we're doing rolling in and out on the Cadillac. Um, this one you need your roll back bar for. Our, for. You definitely don't want to just jump into this exercise. You, If you've done chest expansion, thigh stretch, you're probably ready to do it. If you're warmed up from other pieces, uh, things in the room, it's really good for you. But like, I don't know that I would just start my Pilates workout with rolling in and out. <laughs> um, I It definitely requires a lot. Also, if the springs are controlling you, you're not necessarily ready for rolling in and out. So here's a couple things that you can um, do to make sure that you are ready for rolling in and out. First, when you did your thigh stretch, you should be able to go into a thigh stretch, go into a back bend, keeping your center engaged, come back up, and then come up. If you're losing your connection and doing that back bend, you're not ready yet. A couple other things that you can do to make sure you're ready for this. You should be able to push this bar down, lift your center up, and press the bar in towards the mat as your arms connect to your back. Then, if you lift your stomach up enough, it, you should be able to lift the bar without the bar pushing into you and you'll push it back down. It's kind of like doing kneeling push down on the window chair. You'll feel this in your center. Next thing, can you bring the bar to your knees and forward without losing the round shape, right? If you can do those three things, then rolling in and out might be in your future. If you can't do those, like... Those are great teaching tools, thigh stretch, and those two preps right there to get you prepared for rolling in and out. I don't know how long you'll have to do them for, but I swear you're working. Don't worry. It's hard. Um, so if you are going to do rolling in and out, typically you'll do it from your thigh stretch, and then you'll roll down. You'll pull the bar to you. You pull it up your body. You go into your back bend. Remember, stomach isn't hanging out, and then you lift up. You come up, shoulders over hips, over knees, pull it down, lift your center up, reach. So you can see how those preps really help make this exercise possible. And I'm not ever hanging off my body or the springs. When you reverse, you lean back. You pull from your back like a row. You reach down, you scrape. You get this bar back here, look where that prep just happened. And then you lift back up, you lean back, you scrape, you have to lift your center up and over the bar. So you don't want to not be able to find that round shape. From the back you pull. Then I have to get myself up and over. So a few things before you ever teach yourself rolling in and out. But definitely make sure you've done push down on the window chair, pull ups on the window chair, elephant on the reformer. Those two preps I gave you, you can see especially on the reverse how useful those are. Your thigh stretch, right, should be on point. And then you get to challenge yourself by doing rolling in and out. Now, I didn't go too slow and I also didn't go too fast. There's a lot of exercise in the Pilates where rhythm saves. And if you go too slow, you're going to be, you know, getting all up in the muscles that want to take over. Um, but if you go if you go too fast right away, you might be missing all the good stuff too. So just make sure that you're leveling yourself up with the push down on the window chair and the pull up on the window chair, elephant on the reformer, and doing those preps on here before you go into this. And then have fun. And if something's not going well in your rolling in and out, instead of like slowing it down and meticulously like trying to fix it, go back to those preps and those other exercises that help lead up to this. Practice strengthening yourself there. And you can come back to this and voila, you're good to go. I'm Lessa Logan. I'm so grateful that you're here. If you have comments or requests, please comment below and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you never miss a video from us. Thank you.